Okay. So now I love the blue with the, the yellow. I absolutely love, like this is the new Misty Moonlight color. Thank you guys. I'm glad you enjoyed that card. All right, so this is our next one. Again, we use some of the Misty Moonlight. This is the Designer Series paper. And then some of the smaller images in our Celebrate Sunflowers stamp set. And I think, yeah, we used all of the images. We just didn't use Know That You Are Loved and the congratulations on reaching a whole new level of you. Storm, no barking. But everything else, we used all the other stamps in this stamp. Storm, Storm, no barking, buddy. There's nobody here. Sorry, guys. I don't know. He, he's wishing UPS was here, right? I'm, I'm wishing UPS was here too. <laughs> all right, so this is, again, all of the new in-color designer series paper. I've shown you guys this a little bit, right? All of the fun in-colors. Let me get the cinnamon one there, too, and you guys can kind of see. So there's a little teeny tiny typewriter print, which I did learn has our um, statement of the heart, the polka dots, and then these are um, kind of the, what's that called? Like a little texture, and then the wood grain is what we used right there, too. So all the different patterns and colors in our designer series paper, all right? And again, you would get one full pack of each of these if you decided to do the In Color Club, right? Each of the colors each month, you get them. Okay, so let's see, let me get my pieces out. Put those over there. Oh, and I don't have Misty Moonlight ink yet, but I was reminded that we got a little spot, the Stampin' Spot. Misty Moonlight in the um, June, no, May, the May Paper Pumpkin Kiss. So I had to pull that out. And yes, Susan, he does love to participate. That's very, very true. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get our stamping together and die cutting for this one. So let me tell you again about measurements. So this is a thick Whisper White card base that starts out at eight and a half by 11. So this time we made a tall card. So along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches for a nice crisp fold on our card. Then we have a couple of pieces of um, cardstock. So Misty Moonlight, this is a pretty kind of a dusty, very pretty blue, one of our new in colors, three and one quarter by four and a quarter. And again, all the measurements, item codes, everything that you need to recreate these cards and order what you needed will be on my blog this afternoon. This DSP measures three by four. So there's the wood grain side and there's the teeny tiny print to love what you do, to love what we do and share what we love, blah, 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 blah. But it's actually, maybe that's all it says. I couldn't believe someone could read that. Yep, to love what we do and share what we love. But then it's in a whole bunch of different, um, um, uh, languages. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. And then we have um, some scraps of Old Olive, Bumblebee, and another strip. This one is Whisper White that measures three quarters by three and a half. Okay. And I did a little bit again of our stamping already because I didn't want you guys have to wait for me to do too much. But we're going to make a couple more of these because we have one sunflower and two leaves. So we need another set of these also. Okay. So Let's do our stamping. So again, we're gonna cheat and use our crushed curry ink on our bumblebee cardstock. Okay, so isn't that cute? That fun little, a little, a smaller sunflower. And then we are gonna stamp our leaves. Do these in old olive ink on old olive cardstock. Okay, so we've got those. And then let's see if I can do this. The, so this is how I ink with our Stampin' Spots. These, you just have to be a little more, more careful. I was kind of rocking too much and I was getting the ink in places I didn't want it. So you want to be pretty like straight across there, okay? Let's celebrate you. Let's see if I can do this. I'm trying to remember, I think I was stamping up too high in most cases yesterday. So let's see. All right, woohoo, I did it. Okay, very good. So that's the new Misty Moonlight color. All right, we will set that aside. So let's do our die cutting, All right? So I love the little spriggy things. I'll show you what I mean 
in this die set too, right? So we've got that little guy goes on there, our little leaves, and they have, so that's kind of nice. The stamp has two leaves and then the die. And then we are going to use these. This is what I was talking about, these little spriggy leaf thingies. I have used these so many times. This is like the perfect little add-on when you just need a little texture, a little something. Um, I actually use them. Where are those? Very buried. Yeah. So that little spriggy thing right there is that guy right there. So you can see what I mean. I just, that was too plain and I just added just a little something and then the little bow too. Just kind of, um, just add a little bit of fun to things. Okay, there we go. All right, ladies, I think, sorry, we're gonna go back through one more time. And here we go, okay? So we've got our little sunflower. Oh, the other thing that I did was I cut those leaves off. So we'll do that in a sec. We did, we used our paper snips a couple of times on these. So those little leaves, we gotta make sure we don't lose those. And then our little spriggy thing, did that work? Oh, where is it? <laughs> it's under there. Oh, it's still on the, I'm like, where did it go? <laughs> when I flung it, I didn't see it. Okay. So these things are pretty well loved, so everything likes to stick to them. All right, let's just scoot that out of the way. When you get fresh ones, you know, things aren't quite so ingrained in there, so they don't stick quite as much. All right, so we're gonna add our adhesive to our designer series paper. Misty moonlight, beautiful new color. And then we're gonna pop this one right on here on our thick whisper white card base just kind of goes right in the center let's see we got that one right there okay next oh let's do this we're going to snip off so i did use my snips a few times i don't know what that low connection is all about so there's one we're just cutting the leaves off we just want the sunflower I'm sure we could have masked or something and stamped things, but there, okay? So we just kind of cut those little babies off. Oh, thank you, I know, I love the blue and yellow too, which actually I am a University of Michigan girl. It's where I went to school, so maize and blue, and this is really maize, I think. Maize and blue are my colors for sure. Okay, so here we are gonna add our Put one sunflower there. We're gonna put one, maybe, eh, let's see. I gotta find the right angle. You know, there is an angle for these flowers and sometimes they almost look upside down to me. And then I'm just gonna kinda curl them up a little bit. Now we have all of our little leaves. So we're gonna put adhesive on the back of these things. And the pointy end for me is what I wanna see. So I'm gonna put adhesive on the end that doesn't have, do you see what I mean? This little pointy end, I want that out. And then the not so pointy end is what's gonna get tucked, whoops, back underneath. Okay, so we're gonna do one there, do one there, put one there, and I think I put one, sorry, things are flinging, we're gonna put one maybe right there. And then these little babies, we are gonna just add some adhesive on these things and these are just going to get kind of tucked in so this one kind of went in between and it's going to cooperate with me I just know it right <laughs> maybe if I kind of fold these up a little bit then I can get it because I need it to be kind of tucked in there okay that one looks good there and then this one I wanted to come down underneath my sentiments so we're gonna put that one right about there so i love just all that little spriginess right then you're gonna to want to grab some like a pen or something and kind of curl so this one's gonna go up and then this one is gonna go down right so you want to go up and down like a little roller coaster right and then we're gonna kind of make a little banner on the end so can you guys see we're just gonna snip about halfway between and then go to your corner and cut up to your angle and then I think it's easiest to work from the same 
side. I can't cut in that way very well, so I just flip it over and do that. Okay, and then we're gonna add some adhesive here. We are gonna put that, where did I do it? Maybe right about there. I feel like I have some adhesive. You guys probably can't even see that, right? So we just kind of added that little bit there. And then, so on this one I use, this is the new Bumblebee, um, the twill ribbon. And then I remember, do I do have the gingham? I didn't think I had any more of this because I gave a bunch of it away um, for bingo. And I had just a little bit left over. So we are gonna, we're gonna try this. We're gonna use the Bumblebee gingham and you guys tell me which ribbon you like better on it. I couldn't decide. Once I saw, oh, I do have that. I had already put the, the other um, bumblebee, the twill, instead of the gingham. And then I was like, I don't know. Which one, which one do I like better? So let's see. They're both cute. I think it just depends on your mood at the moment. All right. So we're going to add a little glue dot there. I'm going to put that ribbon Right there, I do want to trim that down just a titch. And then we need, whoo, crafter math. Wow, we need one more. I, you know, I always, I'm like, oh, I got to sprinkle something on here, right? Curl those little babies up a little bit more. Okay, so then I have, these are my frosted and clear epoxy droplets. And I just had to sprinkle a couple of these. Oops. Oh, so that's why you don't do it like this, ladies, because sometimes you don't get the... Um, glue dot underneath. Be very careful of that. So you really should use your take your pick tool to pop those on there, which I didn't bring over here. So there we go. All right. So what do you guys think? Which one do you like better? Do you like it with the gingham or with the twill? I like them both, I think. But yeah, the blue and the yellow is so pretty. The maize and blue for me. <laughs> and may, maybe there are other Michigan fans out there too, right? Okay, so you guys, thank you so very, very much for joining me today. I'm going to pop this in. Just some quick reminders about recap on things here today, right? So if you are ready to order the Celebrate Sunflowers, sorry, the dyes are all over the place, but the Celebrate Sunflowers uh, bundle, the stamp set and the dyes, right? Make sure you grab the host code from my blog. Your name will go in the drawing to win the brand new, is it on this page? Yes, the Flowers for Every Season Designer Series paper pack, right? And you will get either the completed cards or the make and takes. And then if you bump your order up to $50, you get the PDF tutorial or the free embellishment from me. So thank you guys so much. We did it. Shoo, I was really long-winded. I knew that was going to happen today. So thanks for hanging with me today, guys. I appreciate it. And we will um, see you back here next Friday. Gingham, right, Christine? All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Awesome. All right. So let me know if you guys have any questions on anything. You can call, text, email me. I'm happy to help you. Okay. Have a great weekend. Happy summer. Right, guys? All right. Bye. Thanks, everybody.